ACES. What's up folks? Today I'm going to show you what ACES is, how to use it in Blender, and also a free add-on that automates the whole process with just one click. So stick around until the end so you don't miss anything. So first of all, ACES is the industry standard for color management, a wide gamut scene linear system that lets you unify different sources and deliver to any display format without re-rendering. In simpler ways, ACES is the industry standard for color management. With ACES, you can bring your camera footage and 3D renders into the same color space, giving you much more control over color grading once the render is finished. First of all, if you want to use ACES in Blender, I recommend having two versions of Blender, one with ACES and one without. This way, you always have the option to choose. So now that you know all of that, how do we actually get ACES into Blender? Go to the ACES GitHub page. The link is in the description. Download the latest version, which is ACES 1.2, and extract the zip folder. Then go to the Lutes folder inside and copy it. Next, open your Blender installation directory and go to the Color Management folder. Paste the LUTs folder from ACES there. If it asks whether to replace the existing folder, click Yes. Now open Blender, and now when you check under Color Management in Blender, you should see ACES and all the color spaces. The annoying thing when working with ACES in Blender is that your models look wrong when you first import them. That's because you need to change the color space for every map, like normal, roughness, and albedo. But if you have hundreds or even thousands of materials and models in your scene, doing all of that manually would take hours. That's why I created this add-on that fixes everything for you with just one click. You can get this add-on for free in the description, and please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I really hope this video helped you understand ACES better and that you can level up your renders with it. See you next time.